It's Tuesday, September 6th, and UPS Logistics just dropped off my Segway GT2 about 10 minutes ago. And uh, I'm going to brave the heat outside to try to unpack it and get it out of the box and charged up, ready to go. So this box is really huge. It's 13 and a half inches by 36 and three quarters by about 63 inches. Now I asked whether or not he can take the crate back and really they don't take the back. So you get to keep the crate. Whether that's good or bad, that's completely up to you. Now there's actually some protective plastic around which I'm removing here. And in case you're wondering about this weird angle, it is because Today happened to be one of the hottest days that has ever been recorded in my area. So it was 113 degrees, and this was about as much shade as I can get. And I really wanted to get the unit out and get charged up because it's, uh, it's going to take a couple hours to charge. So I have a fan going on back here. It's actually a misting fan, so it's kind of cooling the area around a bit. Um, so I moved the uh, GoPro a little bit closer for you to go ahead and see the process <laughs> that I'm having removing it. Now, because I moved the yin, uh, he wasn't able to get the entire crate through an area. So uh, I put it on one of these furniture dollies and it turns out that is not the best idea, at least if you want to keep the box intact. So over here, uh, as you can see, I have the furniture mover. I moved it out of the way. Um, there's not going to be any damage by doing this. It just messes up the box a little bit. So there's, uh, I believe there's like four to four to six. Okay, so it's like three on one side of these and three on another side. And then plus um, one on each of the long lengthy sides to remove. And they, they come out pretty easily. I don't believe this is actually uh, on the um, on the guide or manual or the box to removing these, but maybe it is. So if you've never done one of these, you haven't unboxed one of these uh, or big TVs, that's the way they do them now from the crates. Uh, that's basically what you do. So I still have to use some razors to go ahead and cut the straps and stuff off off of it. But other than that, it really wasn't too bad. The whole top is supposed to lift off. Got to remove these things just like on a big smart TV. The reason why I'm having a little bit of difficulty lifting this up is again because I had the, the furniture dolly movers kind of pushed in on there. But once you get it up, it's really not that bad. And the, uh, the foam and the packaging material is really um, solid and giant, really thick blocks of heavily packed styrofoam. Just massive, but very protective. We've got the main unit here. This, I believe, is just an empty box. Yep. User guide, quick start guide. A little bit of thank you. We'll go into a little bit more details on these things. This looks like it's the pump extension, tire extension for pumping, and then the tool to install the handlebars, two chargers, 57.8 volts, two amps, four amps total. Yep, they're both identical. And then the power cords for it. Main unit over here. Okay. Got the lights. Everything looks good. Man, I know what they say on other people's videos about how they've seen a lot of them and the size really gets you. I gotta tell you exactly the same feeling. This thing is huge. It is way, way bigger than you think it is. Yeah. This is pretty hefty. This, this is real close up of the uh, interface that goes in. Very, very hefty. All right. Well. Oh, 
that snapped in place pretty much by itself. My control cable is already attached. Didn't really need to do anything there other than put this in. Looks like we got the four slots to lock it in place. And that has to be in this bag over here, along with the tool to attach it. So right over here, as you can see, it's a little bit of a security star in the face, and we got some thread locker on there, so I'm gonna screw those in. It says to tighten them all in, but don't use an electric screwdriver. I think if I were to do this over again, I would probably use an electric driver, but make sure I set the torque really low and be really extra careful in driving these and drive them in starting out first with a hand and then the rest of it using the electric driver on a fairly low torque so I don't strip anything. I think they're just really concerned about people stripping screws on here and then that just messes up the structural integrity and safety of the whole unit if you don't have all six of them properly in there and, uh, and torqued. And, you know, obviously finish it up with your own, uh, just with a hand tightening with the unit, uh, with the tool that they provide. Now, before you do this, though, or before you do this part, if you haven't done it yet, uh, I would suggest getting an Apple AirTag thing, sticking in there using 3M double-sided tape. And, uh, you know, make sure, make, make sure there is a good solid grippy area for it to stick to. I think this is one of the areas to put an air tag. Now also if I were you, I would put a couple of air tags on the unit. This is a $4,000 scooter and uh, if they find one, um, chances are that uh, you know they may or may not give up then. So there are other areas around a scooter where I see that you can you can stick on some other air tags or other tracking devices I think that the one in here is a good spot to hide it. Okay, so hide it in there. And generally reception is still fairly decent with these because uh, I know it's inside and enclosed in, in the metal, but somehow it has a little bit of an antenna effect and uh, you still get decent reception since there's a lot of people with iPhones around. Actually in the news, uh, the iPhone or Apple. Alright, after that, uh, looks like that's pretty much it. This is a pretty wide footpath, man. I wear size 10 shoes, and it fits my whole foot, no problem. Okay, installation setup looked really simple. It is huge, man. This is definitely the size of basically a real electric scooter slash moped or moped like it is that big all right so i'm gonna get this charged but so far everything looks as i don't think anything looks like it's out of place all right we're gonna plug in the segway gt2 charger into my zendure super bass pro and basically just uh, pump up one of them in there. The charge port is down below under this red plastic lid. I wish this was metal, but it's plastic. It's fine, I guess. Just hope it doesn't snap off. And here's the two charge ports. 
Oh, good. There's another protective layer on top. And these can go in, apparently, it looks like either way. So, plug this in now. All right, plugged in. Let's see what we're getting here. Yeah, I gotta turn on the AC. So we are looking at 100, 120 watts a piece. One way, 121. After I have both of them plugged in, we're charging at 245 watts now. So around 122 and a half watts each. And let's see if we can get up to the control panel indicator here. As you can see, it says always wear a helmet, elbow pads, and knee pads when riding. It's powered on over here. Ooh. And we are at 78% charge. 78%. All right, so I'm going to have to do the testing and all that stuff and put a little bit on hold. We just experienced a full-on blackout, and uh, I don't know when the power is going to be back on. So I think that's it for this video.